I see. Okay, we're really good animals, we are. We're just loving that band blowing on us. That feels good, huh, nose? It feel good, honey? Yeah. I've been in the house doing housework today. They've been following me going back and forth and back and forth. And I realized that they were both hugging the front of the cage, which means they were looking for a, seeking the cool air that was coming through the window across from them. So I turned their van on for them, so it's better for them. Argentine boas are not like common boas by no means. They can live in temps of 60 degrees without any problems at all. Actually, they do. They thrive and they can thrive with a core temp of 50 degrees, which no other snake can do for a prolonged period of time. They're very rugged, very sturdy animals. A lot tougher than most common boas. This is really huge enclosure. It is this vinyl coated wire on the top for the basking floor. This one they just use it to excrete waste normally in their water dishes down here on the far left, big water dish. And they separate between the two floors to feed them when they're ready to eat. The one will go to the bottom, the other one will stay on top. So, yeah, you let me know when they're hungry. That's all. I don't plan anything on a schedule. I watch my snake's body language and when I see that they're looking for food, then I throw out their food and feed them. It's that simple. None of them eat on a regular schedule. They eat when they're hungry. Look at you. I'm so pretty. Yes, I am. Mama, quit petting you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You attention hog, you. Yes, you are. You're an attention hog. Nosey's such a quiet laid back girl and Grumpy's such a loud mouth and he's so assertive one out of the two. He's always got something to say and complain about. That feel good. Yes it does. So, see we're not mean. No we're not. We're not mean animals at all. They love watching me in the kitchen. That's why their enclosure is built over here in front of the big picture window. Other than for the fact that's a great window for basking in natural daylight and sunlight. But they're as big a part of my family as anything else is. They follow me constantly, watch what I'm doing all the time. I like it that way. So they're constantly in close contact with me. Even though there is a cage dividing us, we still are close. Yeah, we are. So we're very close. Yeah. Grumpy, give up. He's going to come downstairs now because you're getting all this attention. He probably will. They're very jealous of each other. Which is odd, but they're also very protective of each other. So it's kind of weird the way they act toward each other sometimes. You're listening to me talk, huh? Mama talking? Yeah. She's listening. Tongue going. So I'm listening to you. I know when you're talking about them, they're not dumb. That fan feels good, huh, Mama? That little brown square there is the opening to their outdoor enclo glass enclosure, big 13 foot enclosure out there. Yeah, I love having them so they can watch me. And they're used to all the activities in my home, so things that move around them don't freak them out because they're used to it. It's, it's a common place to them, so nothing like that freaks them out. You walk by the cage, they don't strike at it because they're used to all the activities in my house. I think that's important when you raise your snakes if you want social animals is that they're a part of what you're doing. They can see what you're doing. They're comfortable with all the movement and things around them. What? There's your mama. There's my mommy. She loves attention. Yes, her does.